Okay, a little note on some of the electrics. Um, this was all a mess of wires going to this light. It's broken now, but basically this was hanging up. And when it took it down, I realised that there were some wires going through the middle of the fitting up to the knob light at the top. So I've cleaned this up. There's a load of gunk. They've got to be tightened. And I've got a new light switch to go there. Now all that was what all the fittings were attached to. It took me a while to work out what was what and I've changed it for these. So it's much neater there now than it was. But um, the plan now is to put a new light back about here and I'm going to make a bit of marine ply which will be varnished for the light to sit on and uh, it'll be nice. All the wires can disappear around the back and you won't see any of that mess. Okay, this is the light that I've purchased. It's um, it's made by Perco, an American company, and it shows white light and red light to keep your night vision. So I've just wired it up to test it. So let's try it. That's the white. And that's the, uh, the red. So quite like. Okay, I'm just uh, making a template now for um, what I'm going to cut this marine ply out of in the shape of the um, panel that I want to put the light on. And basically, what will happen is when I've cut this out of the wood, the light will fit on there. It'll have a centimeter. Um, additional wood trim either side come forward so they'll be in the roof and the wires will disappear up the front okay there. there's my um, my template which is just um, a cereal box and that's ready to draw onto the piece of wood Cut. What I'll probably do is cut this piece of wood in half, put the two G clamp them together, and then I can saw the both of them at the same time. Two bits of wood on top of each other, setting them up perfectly, and I'm going to G clamp them together. And once they're G-clamped, I'm going to put four screws in to screw them both together. And these, where these screws are, these holes are the holes that I'll be using to screw through to the fiberglass coach roof. So I've cut the shape out, so I'm just going to go and sand it. Okay, I'm using a Bosch uh, Prio hand sander. the um the cut article and uh, it's been sanded as well apart from the top surface and I've put a couple of bees there for bottom 
so I know which bit goes where. This is the, uh, the wooden housing with the light on it, so I've taken the uh, lens off and popped three screws in. So effectively, when the light's up, that's how it looks. What I've also done is drill two holes in the back to allow the wires to go through and the second piece which goes underneath I've now cut so there's my bottom where I marked earlier so that effectively has got a gap underneath and um, once the two are screwed together in place there's a gap underneath for all the unsightly wiring to go that's the light held in position with the wires gone switch it on white light red here's the finished varnished article wood wise with the uh, two wires down it's going to attach the light and then it'll be done.